guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you that how i solve one of the most annoying issue which you get as a software engineer in tech industry so we all know that software industry have been filled by normies and there are so many posers who don't really care about software but they pretend because they care for money obviously so what these people believe is that github is a programmer's profile or like github is the standard if you don't have a github account where you have all your repository work everything is displayed nicely then you are not a programmer now we all know that you know github is just our internet hosting service by microsoft which allows us to host some repository and in order to be a good programmer it have nothing to do with github you can write your code you can push it in gitlab or you can have something like git dot but i mean uh, see git your own git server basically you can host git t there are so many ways you can you know set up a host your source code online uh, by using some git like version control uh, internet service right you don't really need github but this is not something which recruiters understand or most people who are in tech industry understand they believe that if you are a programmer they are just going to go to your github profile they're just going to see that oh how many contribution you had in last year and they're just going to judge you on the basis of this metric right now this is an issue which you might face and you don't really have to worry about it you don't really have to use github in order to make your github profile look strong what you can do is you can simply write an auto committer for it so this is what i did for myself today and from today i made it you know in a way so it looks human all right so it doesn't look fake so how you can do it by the way like isn't like uh, people can see what you're committing right well if you are committing in a private repo which most people do people cannot really click and see where what contributions you did all right but they are gonna and nobody really care nobody really dig in they just you know see the profile page and they just form an opinion okay so i'm going to do this for one of my friend because he asked me now i really hate github there is this easter egg which you can see what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the same thing for him so i took his password i asked for it all right so yeah he he trusts me and he uh, you know like okay so let's do it so i also have a server so he okay you have to run your own instance like guys have one cloud instance this is something which will help you a lot in a lot of situations and get from just host.ru it's not like uh one of my friends use it it's really cheap actually two of my friends are using it and it's not like sponsored or anything okay so let me just attach into his uh you know server and we are going to write an auto computer directly in the server why write in your own computer when you can just code in the server okay so he's using fish shell by the way quite interesting so what we are going to do is first let me just make some uh, ssh key gen so this is just key generation which uh, i'm going to do so that's it now in ssh directory so i'm going to delete these keys this is just for you know temporary demonstration so i'm going to copy this just to get access to his github in my in the server and go to settings and then make ssh keys new keys my server which is not my server my friend server but you know it's login so okay so i created the key i got the access now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new repository now notice guys this is going to be a private repo and call it anything doesn't matter nobody is going to say it this is just to we are going to do some fake commits so people believe like you know like we are working when we are not okay so as you can see i got the access now i can just clone it by ssh so ssh okay clone and just paste it right so we are going to clone an empty repo which is quite weird but it's fine so let's just create uh use vim to just create a read me dot empty okay so it doesn't matter like i'm just why i'm even writing a read me well just for fun okay so this is a will show so yeah so github like these people care about green github but not green planet this is so bad okay so why okay so let me just add like why i see these things okay so gate commit this, this is going to be one root commit so fuck fisher okay so it is reveal it's spoilers so i did a comment like let me show you git log so you can see root commit uh okay so i don't like these fancy shells like i just like simple css like i i really don't and enjoy you know all those features like those blue i don't even like syntax highlighting i mean this is the least i can tolerate uh okay so 
I did a root command. Let's just refresh it and uh, nothing happened because I didn't push the get push origin. See, everything is there already. This is so good. I mean, okay, so we got our readme. So now I'm going to write a shell script and we are going to do it in a really simple manner. So I was thinking about finding some program online, but then I decided why program when you can just do it by yourself. So why he doesn't have NVIM? So let me just, why he don't have NVIM? So let me just write carefully, win sh. Yeah, we are going to write a shell script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file, something like main.txt and first let's just get the time so not time date so let me show you so plus so this is just going to give us a random uh not random but basically some timestamp okay so auto.sh and i'm going to store it in a variable ts is equal to date and this is the variable so this is going to give us um you know random timestamp not random basically current time timestamp okay so now i'm going to echo this and before echoing let's just create one more variable which is our project directory okay so this is going to be our current directory but i'm going to store it in in the variable so home and auto commit so this is where our project exists right now okay so now i'm going to just train ts all right and i'm going to redirect it or just up not append just you know write it in project dir and then main.txt so this is just going to be one file nobody is going to see it we are just going to change the value uh, over time which is nothing but just our timestamp okay just some brand you can fill anything la 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 or anything okay so after doing this we are going to obviously use git and there is this flag in git minus c which is going to you know tell us the uh, base like where we want to run a command in git so basically when you use git you have to be inside the repo so in code for example do i have any git repo let's just make some lab go black git in it so if i type like git status here so it's working but if i want to type git status here it's not gonna work inside blah because i'm not in blah okay so what i can do is I can type git minus c and then blah and then type status and as you can see it's working okay so you got the idea of minus c so now what i can do why is this no syntax highlighting in the middle of the tutorial guys so annoying so let's just open it and we, we are seeing some colors so nice so now this is why i created this project there so i can pass this as minus c and then add dot what commit what message should I type? Just give us the TF or uh, auto commit. Auto commit. So this is the time when we did the auto commit. So again, paste it, and the last thing is just push, push origin master. It doesn't matter. None of this matter. It's just for you know showing the commit, right? And after this, what else? So this is just basic. So I'm going to make it look like more human like, okay, it's not going to be like we are going to do more things, but let's just test the basics first. Now why I did this minus C and everything because I, I want to run this script from anywhere and not just, you know, in this directory. So let's just test this. Let's see, should I open Tmux and do things? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, this is much better. So now what I can do is so if I run this script from my home, so let's just type like root and then what is auto commit and auto sh so as you can see so we did a commit we got all this and this is the second commit. like we got two commit let's just run it again and see so uh let's just refresh again so we got the third commit the third commit is nothing it's basically just some bullshit so our file is just some it, it's all bullshit okay so this is working, but right now there is one issue. So we are just doing one commit. And what I'm going to do is I can run a cron tab minus E. And this is basically, uh, it's going to ask for some editor. Let's just give the NVIM third one. And uh, let me just quickly close this thing below. So cron job is, you know what cron is. It's basically the, uh, we are going to run this daily. Okay. And what uh, the script, not home, root auto commit and then auto.sl now for test purposes right now uh, i'm not going to run daily i'm going to run like one two every minute okay and that's it and i'm going to close it and after i close it it's basically going to run 
every minute so every minute i'm going to get one comment here but this is not what i want like i want daily but uh, i also want to make these commits look a little bit random like someday i want more than two commits someday i want less commit and for that i'm going to do a really simple thing i'm going to make a random variable so let's just create x is equal to and how do we create a random variable let me just show you so okay let me just show you okay we are going to use shop and then pass the i and zero to five or eight seven commits seven is the maximum so i did i tried to look this up on seven you get like most green on one commit you get the least that's it okay so minus n one and this is basically going to give us one random number this command okay this command is going to give us some random number that's it so let me just open auto sh and just paste this command here and this is just going to give us a random number and now i'm going to run a for loop for i in sequence s e q so sequence is basically this is how you run for loop zero to uh let's call it no not zero one two x and then oh what is like okay for not for okay how to write a for loop this is how you write for loop for three and done so this is basically a for loop which is going to run from zero to our random number and uh the purpose of doing this so every day we get different number of commits all right we don't get same number of commits so someday we do two commits someday we walk a lot and do seven commits so this is how so it will look fake now one more thing i want to do here is i want to add a if statement if x is equal to uh, zero because if x is equal someday we have to take break right so if x is equal to zero then then what exit or uh, fi so basically we are not going to run this uh this script that day right so this is it i guess this will work now now i tested this on my server it's working great just look into my uh github okay and you will know every day i have my github from today i'm just going to work a lot on you know projects on github okay so let me just make it daily and i will change keys so daily. that's it so this is the video